Welcome to this midweek check-in, where each week during this season, we will be checking in with the congregation and sharing some words of hope, reminding us that God's love and grace is still with us. This past Christmas, Joy and I were on the way home to visit my family for the holiday, and I remember seeing that wonderful sign that we all love so much, the orange sign on the side of the road that says construction detour. So we followed the detour and it took us a significant amount of time to get where we were going. And I began thinking about how in some ways that's exactly what we're experiencing right now. Detours. Things are not as we had hoped they would be. Things are not going the way we wanted. It's spring break week, and I can imagine that many of you are not spending it where you thought you would. And it reminds me of a story from the Gospel of Mark in the second chapter. Jesus had just returned back to Capernaum from the desolate places where people had been coming to see him. The text tells us that Jesus had already been to Capernaum before. In fact, the first time he had been there, he created quite a stir. He healed people, he cast out demons, and he taught with authority and command. At sundown, the whole city gathered to hear him. So you can imagine that when Jesus returns to Capernaum the second time, the word spreads quickly. People had been waiting. They had been waiting for Jesus to come again. And there were four folks in particular. They had a friend who was paralyzed. And so when they heard the word that Jesus was back, they remembered. They remembered what he had done. And they knew if they could just get their friend in front of Jesus, that he would be healed. So they go to the house where Jesus is supposed to be, except it's crowded. It's so crowded they can't get their friend on the stretcher into the house. So do they give up? Do they quit? Do they just say, well, I don't know how to use technology. I, I, I can't get on a Zoom call with my family. I don't know how to do Sunday school online. I don't know how to get to YouTube to watch a live streamed service. No, they fight their way through the crowds up onto the roof and they literally tear the roof apart to drop their friend down to Jesus, who says, friend, because of your friend's faith, pick up your mat and go. This is a weird season as we are apart from one another. And this Lent feels especially strange. And next week, we'll be celebrating Holy Week. And we won't get to gather together and wave palm branches and take communion on Monday, Thursday, or nail nails into the cross on Good Friday, or hear the trumpets on Easter morning and celebrate together. But that doesn't mean that we can't still know Christ's love. Yeah, it's a detour, it's a different way, but perhaps we are being called to be like these friends who stop at nothing to get to Jesus because they know, they know so deeply that if they could just be in the presence of Christ, that all will be well. And so we invite you to join us next week and throughout Holy Week and to continue to engage with us online, and in communities virtually. Because Christ hasn't gone anywhere. He's still in the house. And while we might have to take a detour to get to him, he is still there and he still waits for us. So we hope you'll join us this Sunday as we live stream service once more. And next Thursday, there'll be an interactive service for families that will be live at noon. And on Friday, we'll have a Tenebrae service that will be live at noon as well. You can access both of those on our YouTube site with links on our Facebook page and on the website. And our Easter celebration will be a celebration of our community, Second Presbyterian Church. And it might feel different and it might look different, but may we continue to seek Christ. For friends, even in this time, 
he is present and he says to all of us, pick up your mat and go for you are well. May it be so for you this day and into the future. Friends, the peace of Christ be with you.